Welcome to Health Coach for Women. Intentional living for more happiness and fulfillment in your everyday life with your host, Marsha Rupchand Walker. Join Marsha as she shares her own personal wellness journey, as well as stories from our guests that will enlighten and inspire you to move towards better health and happiness. Now, here's your host, Marsha Rupchand Walker. Hello and welcome to another episode of Health Coach for Women. Today, I just want to say, first of all, say um, thank you for tuning in. And I hope that you've enjoyed your holidays uh, and that you are remaining safe out there and protected. Um, but today, what I'd like to talk to you about is reflection. Reflection of 2021. And so what I mean by that is uh, it's something that I like to do. I like to look back at the year and see like what, I, what lessons have I learned? What did I achieve? What did I accomplish? You know, like these life lessons. So today, that's what I'd like to talk about. I'd like to talk about reflection of 2021. And yes, it's, it's been a rough year. It's been a rough year even prior, before that, right? With this whole pandemic situation. Let's reflect on that for a moment. There's so many things that's happening right now in the world, right? With the whole pandemic and this new virus going on. In, additions, in addition to a lot of things that's still happening, right? Because the world still exists, life still exists. Things are happening all over the world, which are not so pleasant. Right. And so many of you may have experienced a loved one who's been hospitalized or, or, or being sick from the virus, as well as other health conditions there. So there's still people facing other illnesses out there who are, who are sick, sick, cancer and things like that. And so what I'd like to mention is that even with all the, 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 the chaos and the, and the, the, the catastrophe, even we had like a, there was a catastrophe uh, in a typhoon in the Philippines and, and there's, there's uh, chaos going on in Haiti and all these other places. Uh, it's really, it's really a, just a trying time, right? And, but in the midst of all that, in the midst of the chaos, we need to find a way to have some type of balanced, some type of way that we can find some type of happiness, right? And so we know that uh, uh, being positive and keeping a positive attitude and prayer and meditation, all of these things uh, help us to have that harmony in our lives. And we need that, it's, it's so important. And we need to continue practice being more mindful, living intentionally, right? So living on purpose with intention, we need to continue to do that. And so let's pray for those who are, are not well right now, who are having health issues, you know, trying to recuperate um, from this virus, you know, and, um, and as well as other diseases, you know, that, that's taking people out such as pneumonia, okay? People are still dying from that, as well as the flu, and as and cancer and all kind of other illnesses. And we know that when when death come and it comes, and I know that a lot of people may not like to talk about the topic of death. It's things that's beyond our control, and we will all experience it, myself included. We will all experience it. But I don't want you living in this place of fear and worry and anxiety, anxious, right? And feeling depressed and, and, and just ho and feeling hopeless. We have to continue to maintain some type of uh, structure in our lives, some type form of happiness um, by being in harmony, right? Having harmony in your life. I, I don't like to care to use the word balance because everything that we give attention to doesn't require the same amount of time or effort. So we have to uh, make time to be more in harmony with 
in our lives with certain things, right? So we dedicate a certain amount of time and effort to our prayer meditation, as well as what we do when we, when we spend our quality times with either with ourselves, with family, um, and as well as setting aside time for our uh, movement, doing our exercise, some form of exercise. We need to do that. We have to, and we have to remember too that, you know, our, our little ones or grandchildren, you know, they are watching us. They are watching us and, and seeing what we do and how we do things. And this is how they also learn, right? And so children learn from their environment. So let's set a good example. And I know it's easier. It's a lot easier said than done. And, you know, people are, like I said, people are having a hard time dealing with certain things. And I totally get it. And I totally understand, you know, I've been there myself, you know, dealing with a lot of different things all at once. It's just like chaos. It's overwhelming. It's, it's, you know, sad. It's, if you feel hopeless, depressed, sad, and, and just feeling just like horrible. Well, we got to fight through that. We have to be able to fight that and overcome that and still see the positive things of life, still see the positive aspects of life. And so when we reflect back on 2021, okay, it, it might it might have been rough, right? Might have been a rough time, and it's probably still being a rough time. And it may you may even lead into 2021 with some type of, you know, uh, things that's not so pleasant, right? Things that's not so pleasant that we wish we could not, ex we don't have to experience. And we know that some things are beyond our control, but the things that we do control over, which is our mindset, we have control over that. We have control of, over our mindset, right? And so our thoughts are just thoughts. They don't control us. We control it. We control our thoughts. And so we have to move into a better mindset, having a positive perspective, a positive outlook on what we desire and on things that we want. And so it's not pleasant, you know, seeing the news and seeing all, the, all of these depressing stuff and hearing more about more people who passed away that you cared about and, and, and all the cases going up. Listen, all we can do is the best of what we can do within our control and continue to stay in prayer. If you practice prayer, continue to be, uh, have practice your meditation of positive thing. And those who practice meditation knows that, you know, you practice to, to find that peace, to find that enlightenment, that, that joy, that love, you know, and not, it's not just for ourselves. When we are, when we're praying, we're praying for our families, we're praying for our family, we're we're praying for people we don't even know, people who's going through a hard time that we don't even know. And, and, and just if we can continue to do that, we can continue to do that and just all of us do that collectively to stay positive, be in a positive mindset, as well as, as, well as nurturing and caring for ourselves, right? Because we can't neglect ourselves in a process, right? While loving and caring and doing for others. We do need to still take that time to practice our self-care. You know, pamper yourself, do something, uh, do something different that you haven't done. And it's 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 not always things in life is not always pleasant, right? But I don't want you to think or going around feeling like, oh, well, this is just life. It's so oh, it always sucks. And, no, we have to change that. We have to change that narrative. And it starts by with your mindset and being more positive, having a positive attitude, right? And, and being grateful, right? That is the key. Gratitude, gratitude. If you woke up this morning, man, aren't, aren't you happy about that? And, you know, some people could say, oh, what's happy about it? You know, I still got all these uh, bills coming in the mail every month. I still have stuff that I, you know, whatever that I got to complete or, or things are unfinished. Okay, so you know what? We're going into the new year with a new attitude. Let's, let's make that one of our 
must do's, right? Let's put that on our to-do list. Uh, having more gratitude, okay? having more gratitude, let us do that. Because as we go into the new year, and you know, I just wanna say something. Um, as we go into the new year, which is just in a few days, you know, what do, what do you like to do? How do you like to bring in the new year? You know, with your family, you know, how do you, what do you do? Party, what is it that you do? And so whatever you do, you know, be mindful of what you're doing and that what you're doing doesn't affect others in a negative way. But one of the things I like to do is uh, before the new year, I like to make sure that the house is clean. I don't know. That's always been my thing. I want to make sure that my house is clean, you know, it's spick and span, because I feel like as you, how you bring in the new year is how the rest of the year is going to be. I don't know. It's just my own little funny, quirky thing. I feel like I need to make sure that the house is clean and, it's, and it has a nice aroma, you know, have some oil, scented oils going on and, you know, just bring it in with this fresh, clean, I don't know, vibrancy, energy, whatever. So that's what I like to do. And of course, bringing the new year with my husband, you know, so the kids are grown in New York. So, but that's what I like to do. So what do you like to do? And as we, we, as we reflect on the new year, on the old year of the year that's soon to pass, what lessons have we learned in life, right? Let's reflect on that. What have we learned in life about ourselves? What new things have we learned about ourselves and that we can improve to be better, uh, as well as in just life in general, and, and how we can make it better moving forward, right? And not staying stuck in the past, but moving forward into the new year. Because every day, one thing I have to say is that every day, day that we wake up, we have a new, we are blessed to have a new opportunity, a new chance, another day to get it right. And so that's how you look at it. Each day that you wake up, it's another day to get it right. So whatever you did yesterday, whatever you messed up on yesterday, whoever you was upset with yesterday, it is gone. Forget about it. Let's look at today. Let's focus on today. Today, I have this attitude of gratitude. I'm grateful, uh, I'm just, whatever it is, whatever, maybe do your affirmations, right? Do a journal, uh, write a journal about whatever it is that you wanna write about, discuss about, right? And uh, if you don't wanna share it with someone, just you know, share it with yourself, write it down in a journal, write your affirmations, write list 10, 10 things or more that you're grateful for. Let's continue to do that. And then mine is a very powerful thing. So you guys may not realize, may or may not realize it, but the mind is a very powerful thing. So we have to really, really be mindful of our thoughts. Let's do that moving into the new year with a, a, a mindset of uh, gratitude and abundance and, and having more joy and happiness in our lives. And we can do that if we change the way we think and we learn how to manage our thoughts uh, and improve our habits, our better habits, lifestyle choices, and manage our emotions. And all of these things combined together and learning who we are, all of these things combined together helps us on our journey to wellness, right? On a holistic level, helps us on our journey. So I think that I'm going to keep it rather short, but the, that I just wanted to mention that for you today, like this mess, I feel like we need to, we need to be able to just look at things for what it is. And we have to continue to stay prayed up, you know, for those who, those who are, you know, women of faith and continue to pray, stay prayed up, stay positive, or just people who are spiritual, right? We have to continue to stay prayed up because we know that things are going on. We know that psychological warfare exists, right? So people will attack pe people or things or entities will, uh, will attack people, right? On, on a level to uh, keep them stuck in fear, 
keep them stuck and feeling depressed, down and anxiety, all of these things, we are going to overcome that. Not to say that these things will never happen. We'll never experience fear again, or we'll never experience anxiety or what we, once we learn how to do these things to manage it and to decrease those things, because stress will always be around. We'll always experience some form of stress. But if we learn how to manage those things and how we react to certain situations, it will help us overall in the, lo in the long run. So let's continue to be joyous. If, and if you're not in that state, let's move to that state. Move to that state with your mindset and take several deep breaths to just relax and to do what we need to do to be better because we're not striving for perfection. We're just striving to be better. And the things that we need to work on with ourselves, we work on those things. We don't judge ourselves and, and beat ourselves over the head and looking for validation from others. We don't need that. What we need is our own uh, self-awareness to improve the things that we can uh, for ourselves. So that way in turn, because once we improve ourselves within, we can then go outward and, and help improve others as well and be there for others. So I think that's all I have for you today. I'm, I'm hoping that you all will stay safe, positive. If you're going out to, to party, whatever, and be around family, just let's just be cautious uh, and protect ourselves. And, um, you know, you know what you need to do. You know, I don't have to go, we're all grown, we're adults, you know what you need to do. Let's protect ourselves, protect others, and, uh, and do what we need to do. And, and stay positive, stay, stay optimistic. This is the only way that we can improve uh, our overall happiness and wellness. We have to continue to stay positive and optimistic, okay? And so, and with that big being said, I thank you so much for listening to this podcast, for uh, watching the video, if you're watching on YouTube or whatever, I appreciate it. I don't care if this message just hit one person and it reaches them, I'm doing my job. So thank you so much. If you haven't already, please like, subscribe, share this channel with someone else. And I'm looking forward to the new year and spend it all, spending it all with you guys so we can have some, some good times together and, and really working on what we need to do for ourselves so that we can also help others in the long run. And our little ones need us. Well, if we're not, if when I'm saying my little ones, I'm saying my grandchildren, my grandboys, my grandsons, they need us. And so what I'm looking to do for the new year, I really want people to really, really strive um, to work on improving their health, right? And um, I'll be revealing more information later on. But that's all I have for you now. Have a great day, all. I love you for watching or, or I love you for listening. I love you for just being present today. Let's stay positive. Love you all. Bye for now. Thank you so much for listening to Health Coach for Women with your host, Marsha Rupchan Walker. If you've enjoyed this podcast, please be sure to rate, subscribe, and review on your preferred podcast listening platform. We really appreciate that effort. Until next time.